General Assembly is now voting. Members of the General Assembly prepare to vote. The resolution aimed at the protection of the Palestinian civilian population against what it calls excessive force. But it took long debate and several procedural votes forced by the U.S. to get to this point. Earlier, intent on making Hamas accountable, the U.S. had introduced an amendment accusing Hamas of being the prominent actor in the ongoing violence. This was opposed by the sponsors of the original resolution, who called for a vote on the amendment to be denied. This attempt to obstruct a vote on an amendment proposed by the United States is shameful. I call on all member states to oppose this motion and vote no. 62 voted in favor of the amendments, 58 against. But the General Assembly president ruled a two-thirds majority was needed. This disputed by the U.S., and yet another vote was held to gauge whether there was a simple majority support for the U.S. position. There was not. The Assembly supporting the two-thirds rule by 78 votes against 59, confirming the U.S. amendments had failed to pass. All of you are very sophisticated diplomats. You know the real thing and you know the games and the gimmicks. And we trust you fully to do the right thing and to sift between those who try for the last minute for expediency to fool you by introducing amendments and these are in bad faith because they are not genuine. The original resolution was vigorously attacked by Israel. By supporting this resolution, you are empowering Hamas. Over the past two months, we have heard from some of the world's worst offenders about the so-called Palestinian Great March of Return. Ismail Ania, the head of the Hamas, President Erdogan of Turkey and others have expressed their support for these attacks against Israel. But to no avail. When the vote was finally taken, it was passed by a substantial majority. 120 members voted in favor, 45 abstained, and only eight, including the United States, opposed. While these General Assembly votes are largely symbolic, this one has some teeth. It calls on the Secretary General to look into how best to protect Palestinian civilians, to look at the viability of an international protection force and to report back to the General Assembly within 60 days. Underlying the sense of urgency and acknowledgement of how serious the crisis on the ground, since the current round of protests began, more than 100 Palestinians have been killed, over 10,000 injured, many by directed sniper fire. Mike Hanna, Al Jazeera, United Nations.